So I'm going to do a look for you using the two colors, olive green and black. This is a beautiful combination for Asian skin because it's nice and warm and golden and nicely complements the yellow undertones of your skin. So first we're gonna take a brush and dip it into the olive green color. I'm gonna do it a little differently than the traditional cut crease. This way I'm gonna just push it into the inner, I'd say two thirds of her lid. So remember to always press the makeup into the lid to get more payoff and more color. And then going on the other side. So you have that nice bright green right on the inner corner and right on the main part of the lid. So when you open your eyes, you can see it peeking through and it's really fun. Now I'm gonna take a black. You can always use like a dark gray if you want, if black is a little too intimidating. And we're gonna go to the outer corner and connect it into the green. So basically what I'm doing is I'm having the black or the dark gray just bleed right into the green so it looks like it's one seamless color. Now taking a clean blender brush, we're just gonna blend the two together. Okay, we're gonna repeat the same thing underneath. So taking a little smudge brush, Dip it in the green, and we're gonna drag this underneath so it connects all the way around the eye. And then taking the black or the gray and bringing it on the outer corner. And to just finish off the look, I'm gonna take a black coal pencil and I'm gonna run it all the way inside her eye, which is also called the waterline. It's always nice when you're done doing a eye that has a lot of different colors in it to kind of go over it with concealer just to correct any mistakes you might have. I'm just going to finish the look off with a really neutral, almost clear gloss that just accentuates her natural lip color. Since the eyes are so vibrant, we don't want to compete with the lips. So here's a really fun, interesting look using green and black. You can use any shade of green and any shade of black you want, which could be like a dark gray or sort of a slate color. And it's just fun and vibrant and complements Asian undertones very, very well. <laughs>